We're going inside one of the cleanest clean rooms in Europe. A unique facility where lasers are made to measure the surface of planets like Mars and Mercury. To be allowed inside, we have to be really, really clean. Even our phones and mics are wiped out and blown free of dust. They clean everything twice and then they cut the lights. And now as a last step, um, there will be an inspection of the hardware to really check if there are no particles left. So we are using um, UV light, ultraviolet light. Um, basically it makes all the particles uh, really shiny so we can actually see them and remove them if there are still some. This clean room in Switzerland belongs to Thales Alenia Space. The lower the ISO number, the cleaner it is. Um, and in this room we are doing integration uh, of uh, instruments um, that are going to be uh, integrated on satellites that are going to be launched to space. So this is the, the ISO 6.5 behind also and here. And here is the ISO 5 right behind the window uh, where there is a thermal vacuum chamber um, used for testing the instruments uh, after they are integrated. And so we cannot go inside these rooms? No, we cannot go inside this one the way we are dressed now. Uh, you would need to be dressed as my colleague here with a complete overall, special boots and a cap, second pair of uh, uh, gloves uh, and so on. So okay. right now we both cannot. There are really different kind of instruments on which we are working on. Um, for example, let's say a scientific instrument. Uh, we've already been working on different kind of scientific instruments for different planets uh, observations. Uh, for example, there was um, a laser altimeter. Mm -hmm. So um, what does that do? So laser altimeter, for example, is uh, observing the surface to do a topographic map. So you have a laser beam that um, is sent to the surface, comes back to the satellite, is received by the instrument, and then um, the time it takes uh, for the laser to fly to the surface and back is analyzed, and then you can calculate the distance between the satellite, your instrument, and the surface, and then you, you can see if the distance is shorter, then the, the mountain is higher, and if the distance is longer, then you have a, a hole or something. So you can really trace the surface of the, of the planet you're looking at, for example. That's a type of scientific instrument. All our instruments are also made here, such as optical communication instruments, which allow satellites to communicate in orbit using light. Now, why does all this have to be made in such a clean environment? The main reason is that the satellite instruments made here use powerful lasers to function. Dust particles get in the way of the laser beam, affecting the way the light travels. Also, when in contact with lasers, dust particles heat up, creating what could be considered as mini-explosions that could end up damaging the instrument. So everything needs to be kept dust-free and ultra-clean, and there aren't many places cleaner than a Swiss clean room.